the last time we were here, I was kind of debating over what to do with this forge, like what to uh, what to make and all that kind of thing. So I think what I've decided, in an ideal world, what I'd like to do is make like a lantern of brightness and then like an amulet of the blessed realm, but that would drain me down to one grace. And I can get two of those back by eating and I've still got a lot of food, so that's okay. But that's still pretty low. And like for this build, usually I don't care too, too much about grace, but it, I'm kind of dependent on will here. <clears throat> and so I don't want to, um, I guess I don't want to undermine that too much. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll make the amulet, which is the bigger grace grain. And eventually I'll be able to get rid of that. And then I will probably just make some garbage ring. That way I'll at least know what it is when I see it again. So I should probably make the garbage ring first. The other thing I was thinking about trying to do is gun for a crown of majesty. Because I've never made one of these before and it looks pretty cool. But that's a teeny bit out of my reach. And I don't even have the experience for it, so... Uh, Majesty is an ability that kind of softly encourages the monsters around you to run away. Uh, or maybe it just, it might even just freeze them, I can't remember. But it's, it requires so much will to work correctly that, in my opinion, it's pretty useless. I haven't really ever seen it work well before. Um, I guess a ring of free action costs nothing. It could potentially be useful, so let's make that. Cool, and then... I want to make... an amulet of the Blessed Realm. So this, I never would have figured this out, unless somebody on the forums hadn't done it, and then posted their character, but this looks like you can't make it, right? Like, it's blacked out, you can't make it. <clears throat> it's above your skill. You can still pick it, though. And then what you can do is say, you know, I don't want a plus one amulet, I want a plus zero. And then it goes down to 11, and it's it's fair game. So that's that. Let's make ourselves one of these. Now my grace is terrible. So now we have three light radius even with torches. If I switch to the lantern, I'll have four. And that's great, because coming up real soon, we're going to start meeting some monsters that cast a lot of darkness. And this will help us deal with them. What sword am I using right now? So one thing you want to get in the habit of doing, which I did not do, is when you're finished forging, take a look at your character, because you may have wielded things that are only good when you're creating uh, weaponry, like these gloves of the forge, but I totally forgot to put them on. Um, I still don't know what those arrows are. Like, I know what those arrows are, but my character does not. Uh, from what I can tell, from all my hours of playing this game. <clears throat> there are rings that have bad effects, but none of them have sticky curses. So if you pick up a ring, there's really no danger in just putting it on right away. Because the worst that'll happen is that you just won't know what it is. Um, I don't think there is such thing as a ring of danger. I know there's an amulet of danger. And dangerous items draw stronger monsters to your floor, which you really don't want. Um, but the problem with danger items is that they actually draw stronger monsters to your floor even when you're not wearing them. Like, they can just be in your pack and they'll have that effect. That's really crappy, so... Amulets are dangerous to carry around if you don't know what they are, potentially, but... So I've just fueled up my lamp, I've got 6,000 turns of light, and at this point, even if I run out of lantern light, I'll still have a light radius of 2 because of my amulet and my helmet. So I'm just gonna get rid of all these torches because they are no longer useful to me. You know, one thing I haven't tried in this game is uh, getting a flask of oil and throwing it at a monster. 
in Angband that sets them on fire. Uh, it makes no sense. Oh, really? Are you serious? That's a third forge on this floor. Like, what the hell? I should take a screenshot of this. Do they all fit? At the very least, I should take a note. What the fuck? Three forges. Yeah, so if I was omniscient, or at least prescient, um, I would have pulled all my experience on this floor. And before this floor. So I'm going to leave this forge for sure. And what I am going to do is explore the rest of the floor. And if I can't get enough experience to... <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! This probably means that I'm not going to get another forge for like the rest of the game. Um, and that's a joke. I, I really think that uh, floors are built independently of other floors, but got all kinds of food. I keep waiting for like Morgoth to show up or something. He's like, oh, by the way, you just, I know you're supposed to go to a thousand feet, but you know, we just decided to renovate. You're actually at 950 feet. Forgot to tell you. A special broken sword. That's not exactly confidence inspiring. What was that? Is that it? Oh. I really don't know what to do with these extra forges, like, this is just insanity. I really wish I'd taken Artifice now, I'd be so strong, but, uh, I don't know if we've seen one of these before, this Orc Captain, we've seen Orcs getting stronger and stronger, this one hasn't, he is strong, like, he hits fairly hard, but he's more clever than he is strong, so he can disarm you, um, which can be really frustrating, especially if you only have one weapon, because when they disarm you, your weapon actually falls to the floor, and it might not fall on your square. Now, if I had met that guy a couple floors ago, he would have been scarier, but at this stage, let's be serious. It's a nice short sword. It's a nice potion. Let's go slay this kid. I swear to God, this work, this uh, elf was homeschooled. Like he just doesn't learn. Not that I'm dissing homeschooled people on purpose, but So now you can see, because I have so much light, these shadow molds, I can actually see them now. So, uh, my evasion roll doesn't get affected when I'm fighting them. I don't know if evasion even works on spores, so I'm not sure how much it helps, but at least I can hit them better. Oh, that's obnoxious. Well, the good thing is I can go make another one. <laughs> That's not going to be a problem. <laughs> Normally I would have tried to do something more careful there, but I just don't care. Uh... This is actually a really big floor for this depth. Usually floors at this depth are not so sprawling. You get a massive, uh, well, the monster gets a massive 
evasion penalty when he's sleeping. Like it basically sets his uh, evasion to minus five. So even if you have like a Matak of giantness, um, you'll still likely critical. Okay, I need to stop talking because these things, uh, these Easterling archers, uh, they're like orc archers in the sense that they just shoot at you, but they're way better shots. Um, that plus eight to attack translates to mega criticals because uh, because of the evasion penalty you already take. Now, half of five is not really a big deal, but when your evasion is better than mine, it's a bigger deal. None of those things were orcs, right? I should switch to my longsword. The good thing is this troll will be a meat shield for me for a while. I mean, really, there's nothing forcing me to fight these guys. I could just run, but... I'm going to try this trick from Clouded again. Although there's not much diagonal room for me to run in. Oh, I see. They have to be in line of sight of you for that to work. That kind of even works if you're not doing it 100% the way he said either. Um, so I'm not having... Oh, see? This is getting bad already. All it takes is a few good shots. I would just laugh my head off if this was a troll. The other thing I have trouble with when fighting Easterling anything is that they have the same symbol as me. And sometimes I just think I am one of them. Um, I've actually died that way before. It's really embarrassing. Is that a herb I don't have? Yes. I might have to start eating things again. What I would really like to find out right now is that... I just, I don't think there are that many bad herbs left. And I'm hurt, so I should probably try this now. Okay, so that was a herb of healing. So it's good that I ate that then. Not great, I mean, it would have been better if I ate it... when um, I needed it, clearly. Herbs of Healing were accidentally nerfed in this game. They're supposed to do the same thing as potions, but they only give you half as much of your HP back as potions do, so they're really not that uh, important. This is a herb of hallucination or something. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, there's a herb called Restoration that basically gives you back all your stats up to three points lost. I was hoping I had one of those, but... All right. At the very least, I can go obtain some experience from these forges. Like, with 2,000 experience, I could take Weaponsmith, but I won't be able to make much with it. Like, there aren't many enchanted weapons that are worth making right now, as far as I know. Um, and without Artifice. And I certainly don't have enough experience for Artifice. Wait, how much did I say I needed? 2,500, right? Hmm. You know what we could do? Where are the forges that still work? I could try to just identify a bunch of stuff in my pack and then make things that I haven't identified yet. And I might be able to get to 1,000 experience. That'll give me artifice. And then I could make my cool helmet. So we might be able to do something with this regardless. Okay, where'd that other forge go? There's the four use one. And that one's the three use, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Or at least let's try. I don't even know. The problem is that I don't know how many items there are that I could make uh, that I haven't identified yet that won't require me to drain my stats. And I'm not really willing to make that sacrifice right now, but maybe. Like evasion, perception, there's a bunch of stat rings I could make. And probably danger. As in, Yeah, no, I could probably do this. But I have to make sure to leave at least... How much experience do I need to leave? Sorry, I need to leave at least three uses on one forge. And the other thing is I just realized I took Jeweler too, so... I actually need 3,000. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, identify one, two, three, four, 
I can uh, these murky brown potions, even though I, as the player, know what they are. My character doesn't know what they are yet. Dummy McElf here still hasn't figured it out, so I can drink one of those and I'll immediately figure out what it is. All right, let's just give this a shot. I now I wish I'd identified those stupid poison arrows. Okay. It's the other forge that has three uses, right? I'm just really paranoid right now. Okay, so let's do everything here. And, you know, I did kill everything on the level, so it seems like it, you know... I should just be able to forge without any fear. But don't forget that monsters come up and down the stairs, so... Oh, I can get 25. That's actually reasonable. As much as I don't think this thing would be able to drain me, I, I don't trust the... Random number generator. It's been too nice to me this game. It's just waiting for me to do something stupid, I can tell. Okay. Sure. Actually, you know what? Let's do this intelligently. I really want to know what the Amulet of Danger looks like, so... I'm going to gain time making this thing, apparently. Minus 20 turns. Drop this right away. Let's make a ring. Well, you know, I might as well do this for real if I'm doing it. Oh, you know what? That grace penalty might come and bite me in the, the butt now. If I want to create a good artifact helmet, but I was just about to wear something. What was that thing? The gloves of the forge. Okay, and I also want to know if I found hunger. Ha! So I was carrying a hunger ring. Wrath is another good one to know. And I guess I could make a ring of perception in case I'm having a hard time seeing things. That one I'll hang on to. Oh, did I already see one of those? No, no, there's no way. I just feel like I should have more experience already. This forge is exhausted. I'm only at 2200 experience. So I would need to identify eight potions. That's not happening. And I'd only be 200 experience away, though. I realize this isn't super exciting, so... You know what? Go big or go home. Let's... Alright, well, I didn't want those anyways. Hmm, that murky brown potion actually stunned me, even though my will... Oh, my will's not so high anymore because my grace penalty. Potion of strength. Dexterity. Man, I had a lot of stuff boosting potions. Oh, I had a potion of constitution. I could have made that amulet. I need 50 experience. I guess... Do some items give you more experience than other ones, or did I just lose track of what I just did there? It's probably the latter. Okay, people, I need... 53 experience. Where am I going to get that? I don't know. Oh cool, I got my dex penalty gone. These guys don't give me any experience anymore, do they? 
3. Well, better than nothing. See, this is one of those things where I could potentially spend all day up here, but my min depth is probably already 350. Like, I'm wasting a lot of time here, and I'll, I'll gain it back. Um, like, all the benefits that I've gotten on this floor, I have never had plus 18 milli at 350 feet. Like, I don't think ever. That's insane. Um, I guess there was that broken sword that I made fun of. That I could potentially try to identify. These archers aren't going to do anything for me either. Oh, wow. I guess I haven't killed a lot of those. They're worth eight. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm totally going to do this. Thanks, guys. You made my day awesome. Trust me, your deaths were not in vain. Your experience will be converted into a very nice helmet. Ciao. Now, I hope after all that smack talk, I actually have enough experience to do this. Um, so that means 1,500. Let me just double check. Yeah, 1,500. Okay. All right, point in our return. Let's do it. Now, ah, I am so dumb. I'm not going to be able to make the thing I want to make. This is what happens when you fail at math. Um, I just realized that when I go to create the item that I want to make, it's also going to take experience. So I think I just shot myself in the foot here and wasted a whole bunch of experience that I did not need to waste. Now, I'm, I'm sure I'll find some kind of artifact that is worth making, but I might have to stop the video here and like, I don't know, go cry in the washroom or something. And then after that's done, think a bit more about what I could make that's useful because what I really want to do is this, I'll show you. I want to just make a helmet. And uh, the artifice interface is pretty crazy. There's like a hundred million things you can do. Uh, different pieces of equipment will allow for different kinds of bonuses. So like you can't just put anything on anything. For example, you can't get your helmets to increase or sustain your dexterity. Um, you can't put these kinds of skill bonuses on helmets. You can only get perception or will, that kind of thing. But what I really want to do is put Lore Master on it. However, I don't have 500 experience. And even, like, I also like to make gloves of smithing that are good, but I won't even be able to do that because that also costs experience. So I think a smart thing to do would be to pause the video again here. And then in the next episode, I will figure out what to do here. This is ridiculous. Like, this is the weirdest game I've played in a really long time. I, I don't ever find four forges at like 950 feet, never mind this floor. So, I mean, squeaking out another 500 experience here, I guess if a unique randomly comes up the stairs, it might happen, but I have nothing else that I'm wielding. If I hadn't been so excited, I would have shot more of those poison arrows at monsters, so I'll get 100 there, hopefully. But other than that, I'm still not... Um, gutsy enough to wear this pair of leather boots. And the thing is that even if I wear it, unless it's stealth, I won't get any experience for it. And I don't have enough experience to take curse breaking now either, so doing that would be really dumb. Have I tried putting on the sapphire ring yet? Yeah, I have. So that means this one's probably sustenance. Okay, I'm going to have to think about this. Sorry, guys. Um, if this was a boring floor for you, I apologize. But these are the kinds of min-maxing things that happen when you find four forges on a really early floor. So I will save here, and I will see you guys next time.